What's up, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty, and you're watching my review on Love & Hip Hop Season 3, Episode 4. What's up, you guys? Um, I'm filming a video from my iPhone because my camera is now dead. And like I said, the new camera that I got does not have um, the... I forget the name of the, the stand that you put it on so you can film or whatever when you're sitting down. So I got to record it from my iPhone. But I think the quality from my iPhone with the sound and everything else is much better any damn way. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. And I have y'all know that it's like 5, after 5.30 in the morning and I am really filming this video. So let's get into it. Um, let me just say this before I get into the video. I just want to say that this motherfucking season of Love and Hip Hop is dry, it's whack, there's nothing going on. I could care less about anything that's happening on it. And I'm just, I'm just about over it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with my love for the ATL version. And, you know what I'm saying? I love the Love and Hip Hop franchise, which is one of the main reasons why I keep watching the show in hopes that it will get better. But from the way it looks, it's not going to get better. And I'm just not here for what's going on. Like, you have so many people on the show that you're not really using. Why do we have Winner? Why do we have Jen? Why do we have, you know what I'm saying, Erica? She's an annoyance. I guess Mona really thought that Erica was going to be the star of the show because she's a hood rat. She Just because a bitch is a hood rat does not mean that they're going to be the star of the show. Erica is nobody's star. She's the most hated person on the motherfucking show. And she does nothing. Like, she's so... She reminds Reminds me of Kenya more. Like she does the most to be seen and she does the most for motherfucking camera time. And that's why I just can't get with that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like her and that's just what it is. Um, let's get into it. I got 11 notes, but I already know that I'm not going to even talk about everything that's on this paper because of the simple fact there was nothing to speak on. It started, the episode starts off with Erica asking Olivia to meet her for a drink so they can discuss the incident that happened at Yandy's um, little event. And, you know, Olivia lets her know that she didn't appreciate how she went all left field and that she could have talked to her like a woman, which she should have. And then, you know, I don't even understand Erica. You know what I'm saying? Like, she want to apologize to Olivia, but in the same breath, she says that she's dumb for not doing a record because it would have got Olivia back on radio and would have made her hot again. Erica, who is interested in anything you trying to sell? Ain't nobody even interested in your ass as a model, let alone a damn entertainer. So what the fuck are you talking about? How the fuck can you put... Out of all people, you put Olivia back on the radio. I don't understand what, what your logic is. And just because you fucking rich don't mean that you got, you know, some say-so and some bullshit. Because you really don't. I mean, you ain't shit, bitch. So, I wish you would just get it right. Sit your motherfucking ass down and just live and learn. Because you ain't shit. You ain't got shit. You ain't bap shit. So, sit your motherfucking ass down. Like, seriously, I'm sick of motherfucking Erica with her dumb, with her dumb mess. Seriously. Um... So, she basically says, um, Olivia basically says, Rich isn't going anywhere. They're best friends. He's, you know, she's his number one artist and she ain't going nowhere. And Erica basically said, that's what Olivia thinks. And Olivia said, that's what the fuck she know. And basically put her in a damn place. But she needed to. Because Erica needs to sit her ass down, for real. Like, who the fuck does this bitch think she is? Like, she has really gotten beside herself. And I really don't understand her right now. Okay, so, Jen talks to Rocky about teeth sequence and... His little situation with the, his Islamic values or whatever. And, and just like Rocky said, when you get in a relationship with somebody, that whole religion thing needs to be addressed before y'all live together and before y'all really decide to get serious. Because you already knew what the situation was. You already knew that his religion was way more important to him than anything else. And you already knew that you don't live the Islamic values that he does. You're a Christian. You are from a totally different league than he is. So before y'all moved into a, to y'all house together, y'all should have got this shit situated from the very jump. And I totally agree with Rocky on that. And that's something I don't hardly do. Agree with Rocky. Um, Joe and Tahiri at church discussing his relapse. I can really give a fuck about that because Tahiri seems to be too motherfucking invested. Don't Joe Budden got a girlfriend? Where is Caitlyn? I mean, where is she? I mean... You know, like, me and my mother had this conversation about Kaylin, and it's like, I feel, I was telling my mom that I feel like Kaylin is being played. You know, he got Tahiri on the show, he got a girl that possibly wants to fuck him on the show, and you barely ever see Kaylin. And my mama was like, well, she accepts it because she comes from a background where she ain't have shit. I mean, she ain't have shit, he picked her up, he took her up off her feet, you know, she a young girl, and she probably feels like she got to accept this shit so she can live right. 
Which is true. As crazy as that may sound, that she sounds true. And that's why she putting up with it. Because ain't no way in here I can put up with somebody that I'm dating. I always spend the time with their ex all the time. Like, I'm not saying that you can't be friends with your ex. But, it's, but when it seems like there's feelings still there for you and your ex. And, you know what I'm saying? Y'all constantly around each other. And it's pretty clear that there's love still there. Like, to hear, we trust, to deny. I wouldn't be okay with that. And I don't even see how Kaylin can be okay with it. Um, of course, we have another scene with Jen and Teeth Sequence arguing about Islamic values, something that I really don't give a fuck about. And and that's the sad thing. I like Teeth Sequence, but as far as Jen the pen, I don't give a fuck about her. She's so whack. She's so boring. All she ever does is cry and whine. She's so annoying. And I'm sick of hearing about the bitch. God, Teeth Sequence, why can't you be on the show without her? Why can't she just be a re reoccurring person? Ugh. Rich and Olivia, they argue about Erica. And Rich basically read Olivia like a fiddle. And I really do believe everything that he said. Just like, you know, you calling out Erica about being a ghetto bird and how she got this reputation. But just like Rich said, you got a reputation for having a stank attitude, being cocky, thinking you so much better than everybody else. And you do. And you do. And it all shows on the show that you think that you're so much better than everybody else when you ain't got a damn pot to piss in and you ain't got a pot to piss in and the winner to throw it out of. Like, you in the game, you know, you in the same league as the K. Michelle's and people like that that's trying to get themselves up who have been through a lot of industry things. And you sitting up here acting all cocky. You should be the most humble bitch on earth. Yeah, be confident about your shit because Olivia can sing and her music in the past has been good. The music from her first album, rather, because I, I was not feeling that shit when she was on G-Unit. But other than that, the bitch can sing. She can rap too. The bitch is talented, so she should be confident about that. But in the same talking, bitch, don't get beside yourself because you're talented. Because you ain't got a pot to piss in. So you might as well sit the fuck down and notice this shit. Okay. Let's see. And another thing, Rich is obviously pussy will because he is basically trying to force Olivia to work with her. And Olivia doesn't have to work with Erica if she doesn't want to. And who would want to work with Erica Miller? I wouldn't. Flop or not. Um, Yandy and Mendeecees, they get some bad news about their kid. He has to have surgery dealing with the kidneys. And I think that that's one of the most realest storylines on Love and Hip Hop. That's the only thing that I was looking forward to seeing because all this other foolishness that I really don't give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this other foolishness, I could care less. I really could. Um, it was really touching to see Yandy and her baby daddy go through that situation. And, you know, he's trying to be strong for her. And, you know, he's telling her not to cry and just be strong about it. But, you know, that's her child. And, you know, she's a mama bear for her son, obviously. And she wants her son to do, you know, to get better. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that, you know, it was pretty touching to see that. And, you know, and amidst all this foolishness going on, this is one of, that is the best storyline I've seen on the show. Okay, Jen and Rocky go out to a club. And I think this, this that Mona set this up. Because how the hell, you know, it's really funny that Tahiri and Rashida come to the exact same club that Rocky comes to. So, you know, obviously Jen knows Tahiri. And, you know, Tahiri um, introduces Rashida and Jen, and then you see Rocky walking back up. And, you know, they have a couple of words. And then, you know, um, as much as I like Rashida, um, why does she need to stay her opinion about Rocky being industry pussy? You know what I'm saying? At least she ain't standing behind her back, and she said it to her face. But at the end of the day, who told her that, you know, she had a leg to stand on? And who told her that she need to open up her mouth? open up a mouth and say shit because you should have kept a damn mouth closed. Who the fuck asked you for your opinion, Rashida? And then it came off like Tahiri and Rashida was ambushing Rocky because you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck was fucking with Tahiri? Well, nobody, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just don't like Tahiri. Like, I, I was feeling her at first, but she seems to be too invested in Joe and too fucking invested in a bitch that she don't like. And Rashida just I guess the bitch felt like shit. I'm tired of being Dr. Phil. I'm finna get my airtime. Well, bitch, you piss me off, and I really want to like you, so I'm going to give you a chance. But why y'all going in on Rocky? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and it just seemed like these bitches, as, as whack as Rocky is, these bitches is pressed by that, by, by that hoe, for real. They are pressed by Rocky. Um, I mean, DC's wants another child with Yandy. He wants to go ahead and, you know, get it 
under control, you know, get another child out the way so they won't have to wait for her to get a tooth tied. But Yandy has another agenda. She doesn't want to have another child, you know. Um, she doesn't want to have another child out of wedlock. She wants to be married and have a second child, which is understandable. Rocky has a proposal for Jen, but before she has a proposal for Jen, um, she goes in on Rashida to talk about her being a credit card fraud, you know, going through credit card frauds. Um, slicing up a man's face, which is all, I saw all that shit on Google, y'all need to Google up Rashida Ali, I saw all that shit on Google before the show aired, and I saw that on reality T, that's, that's a reality show, bro, I call it reality T, I seen all this shit, so, the shit that Rocky is saying ain't too far-fetched, whether it's rumored or not, it's on Google, so Rashida does, but she wants to do another re um another radio show. She wants Jen to be a part of it since Jen was a radio personality, which is something that Jen wants to do. But she's kind of, you know, iffy about it due to her situation with teeth, teeth sequence. So here he gives Joe a home drug test and he doesn't want to take it. Who gives a fuck? And I really don't give a fuck to talk about Erica and Rich's 50 second argument about her not, you know, about her mouth and her not taking what Rich is trying to give to her seriously. But I know this um review was probably whack to y'all. I'm sorry, but this show was whack in itself and there's nothing for me to speak about. You know what I'm saying? There is nothing, absolutely nothing for me to talk about. And I wasn't even gonna do this video um tonight, well, this morning. I was gonna wait till Bad Girls Club come on and put it on the same video with that video because Love and Hip Hop does not deserve its own video. But with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I see, I was reading the comments on my Real Housewives of Atlanta video. And I see that y'all was really enjoying the comment that I made about, um, about Kendarius and my cleaning clip proposition. Now, this may not be the original cleaning clip. It's the Dollar General version. But all I got to say is clean and clear and under fucking control. Good morning, everybody.